Hi, third grade, and welcome to the second part of the water cycle and cloud characteristics lesson. In this video, you will learn the at-home experiments you will be conducting. We try to make these experiments with items that a lot of you may already have in your home. You only have to conduct one of these experiments to get credit. Let's begin with our first experiment on the water cycle. I would suggest keeping your science notebook and a pencil or pen handy so that you can take notes throughout the experiment. The materials you'll need include a mug, a clear bowl that the mug fits in, water, tape, scissors, and plastic wrap or clear storage bags. First, you want to place the mug inside of the clear bowl. Next, you want to pour water into the bowl, but be very careful not to get any water inside the mug. Next, you want to cover the bowl tightly with plastic wrap and tape down the sides. If you don't have any plastic wrap, you could cut Ziploc bags and use that as a wrapping. Next, place the bowl outside in a spot that gets a lot of sun for a couple of hours. After a couple of hours, observe what happened to the bowl, the plastic wrap, and the mug. The heat of the sun turned the water into the bowl into vapor so the water evaporated up. That's why you're able to see droplets on the plastic wrap. The vapor turned back to water droplets on the plastic wrap, which is condensation. The plastic wrap caused the vapor to cool down and turn back into water. The water got too heavy and fell back down, which is like precipitation coming from the clouds. And when it fell back down, it fell either into the water bowl or the mug, which represents the mountain or the land when it rains. Experiment 2 is based on clouds. For this experiment, you will need a jar, water, shaving cream, and food coloring. First, you want to fill the jar with water. Next, you're going to place shaving cream on top of the jar. Next, you can begin adding drops of food coloring to the shaving cream and observe what happens to the water as you add more and more drops. This shows precipitation. As the clouds get heavy, the raindrops fall. You don't have to add as much food coloring as I did, I just started playing around with it. Remember, you only have to complete one of these experiments and make sure you take pictures so that you can upload your pictures as well as complete your observation sheets. If for any reason you cannot conduct these experiments, please reach out to your teacher during their office hours.